Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 7th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of a bullish activity in the morning, but it quickly faded as we kind of ended up in a hurry up and wait for Jerome Powell comments that are going to happen later this morning that who knows um, how the market will react to that. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, in light of the Powell comments this morning, we have our markets kind of, well, just in limbo. Um, it's a hurry up and wait situation here this morning, waiting to find out is Powell going to come out and sound hawkish or will he support this recent push to the upside um, because we heard from Bostic um, on Friday of a possible pivot sometime in the future or, or pause and that got the market all excited. Will it be dovish? Will it be hawkish? It's hard to know. And as we look at the market here, well, what we talked about yesterday kind of came in um, as accurate. We rallied right up here to that resistance level in the chart. And then we saw the bears come in, pushing us back down here just a little bit, leaving that uncertainty. Are we gonna be able to cross back over? or will we fail? Now, you'll also notice that we pushed right up in here. We tried to bump through that 50-day moving average. And at least at the moment, that's been rejected. Remember, we've got that technical moving average squeeze up here that would be a potential bearish squeeze um, at the moment. So watch that closely. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, well, very much the same thing. We rallied right into that downtrend line that I uh, have posted up here uh, and then we ended up pushing back, dropping back below this little resistance level in the chart, leaving again a shooting star potential topping pattern here in that chart. Now if those bulls find inspiration, we could certainly pop through that resistance area up there uh, from Powell's comments um, or maybe we push back down here looking for some support levels um, in the chart um, if the bears are inspired. So your guess is as good as mine and I just don't know how the market's going to react here. I think it's kind of a 50-50 guess. And you know, one of the things that we've seen here lately is that no matter what the Fed members are saying, that yeah, we're gonna keep raising rates, we're trying to ignore it and hoping that um, this will suddenly be behind us. but. Um, uh, recent economic data would suggest yeah, it's not behind us yet. So we'll want to be on our toes and look for some possibility of substantial volatility in the market here today as Powell comments. QQQ gives us a very similar look here. Uh, shooting star potentially coming into play. Tried to break that downtrend. Uh, left us with more uncertainty than answers. Once again, if those bulls find inspiration, well, maybe a retest up in here. Or, or maybe we push even higher to test some further resistance in the chart if the bulls are inspired. If those bears find inspiration, well, look for some tests down in this area right in here, catching some of these support levels. And if that doesn't hold, then right back down here. And we have seen in this market, these big swings are available. I mean, are certainly possible. And I would suspect that we have pretty good chance of some pretty big price moves here today. So watch that close. And if we look at our IWM, well, IWM took it the worst yesterday, ending up with a bearish engulfing candle, giving us even more question, um, unable to punch through that downtrend here in the chart. The bearish engulfing would require, if it's going to follow through, would require more downside in here. 
if it's going to follow through, but I can't say that it's going to do that. Maybe we just slip into some consolidation. We've got a little bit of price support right in here that we could hold on to if those bears uh, or bulls stay relatively inspired. And then we could even push right back up here and test that resistance in the chart. But the way this chart is looking right now, if those bears were to find inspiration, I would expect for a test down here under these support levels. And if that were to break, then look for some pretty big moves in the market. So watch carefully uh, today as we react to Powell's comments. And remember, it really doesn't matter quite so much about what he says. It's, it, it, it matters how the market uh, interprets that and how the market reacts to those numbers that will be important. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX would suggest we have no fear that the market is absolutely unfearful about what the Fed may do here. For some reason, we have this idea that all of these troubles are suddenly behind us and we can just rally, rally, rally. However, we continue to hear from some of the big institutions like Morgan Stanley and, and things like that. They're, they're suggesting that um, what we've seen here recently is a sucker's rally and um, that this could end badly. Um, so watch that carefully. Perhaps this fear is right, um, where we're just, or this complacency maybe is correct, but perhaps it's really wrong. And that could suggest some big moves coming in the market if um, we get disappointed. So watch that closely here. If we take a look at our T2122, well, we got that impression yesterday that everything was holding up and being really, really bullish. But when you look at T2122, we rejected and pulled back pretty substantially yesterday, um, even though um, we ended up with bullish closes in some of the indexes of the market. So um, interesting situation here that we see on T2122. Now, remember, it doesn't tell us direction. It doesn't tell us which way the market's going to go. What it does tell us is when we've reached those pressure points of an oversold condition or an overbought condition. And unfortunately, we kind of um, landed right in the middle of the fence yesterday, maybe just a little bit to the bearish side. But as you can see, we've got um, a pretty substantial room to move upside or move down. So keep that in mind depending on how the market reacts to the Powell's comments, we've definitely got room to move. And I would suspect big point moves are possible. If we take a look at our uh, T2108, well, T2108 pushed back, but no harm, no foul here. We didn't break the lows here recently. We're still kind of clinging to that, uh, that little upside trend. There certainly is some uncertainty in here. And as you can see, as we look back, in time, if we start to break this level here, that could really be a little bit challenging for the market. We can see those bears come in hard um, if they do. If we can hold this area, then I would suggest we push back up and maybe test some of these resistance levels up in this area of the chart. So um, again, T2108 kind of sitting on the fence. Our T2107, a little bit more on the bullish side. Those small caps have been holding in there pretty well. And as you can see, um, we've got some support right in here. We're hanging in there on that trend. So I'm gonna give this one here to the bulls, those percentage of stocks holding above the 200. They're hanging in pretty stubbornly and um, still holding in there 55, 56% of the stocks. But you'll wanna notice here, we're kind of sitting on the edge. And if the data were to be uh, interpreted this morning um, to be hawkish, then you might look for that move to the downside that really could start to break this up a little bit and cause some pressure and maybe even some fear in the market. However, if that um, if the data today is interpreted as, as bullish, as hawkish, or excuse me, as dovish, 
then um, I would suspect that we could bounce off of this area and kind of start, start stretching this back to the upside. So again, we're kind of straddling the fence here, trying to make a decision. If we take a look at uh, T2101, I'm going to say we're not getting anything here as far as good data for T2101. And the reason is we continue to suffer from less than normal volume here in the market um, as we wait uh, for this data to come out. Um, so let's take a look at our economic calendar. It's what I've been talking about all morning here. And there really isn't much of anything um, um, other than the Powell comments to really uh, provide us a lot of inspiration today. As you can see, he'll be speaking at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern today in the Senate. He's going to be um, over in Congress um, um, on Wednesday, uh, probably a repeat. Usually the Wednesday comments don't generate as much activity as, as the Tuesday comments. So you want to keep that in mind. And then as we go through the day, we've got a three-year note auction. Um, we've got wholesale inventory as preliminary, but everybody's going to be focused on this. So I'm not sure there's going to be much of anything else today that moves us around. Um, and then as you plan forward, remember, we're going to have mortgage applications, ADP, more uh, Jerome Powell uh, conversation, job openings report. We're going to start heading into that jobs data um, toward Friday. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, on the earnings front, we also um, will probably largely ignore a lot of the earnings um, this morning in favor of the Powell comments, but we do have some notables here today. I wouldn't necessarily say notables that are going to be huge market movers, but one that might be kind of interesting to pay attention to here is uh, DKS, another big box. You can see we're getting a, a nice bullish move here. Um, um, in the pre-market on this suggesting that they did pretty well on their earnings however it might be interesting to see what their guidance is if it comes in kind of like Walmart or Target well um, not too exciting um, so watch that carefully we're going to hear from uh, Casey's General Stores today we're going to hear from um, some Dole oh, nice pop there in Dole here this morning We've got uh, JKS reporting today. We're going to hear from Sumo today. We're going to hear from THO today. It looks like that one went to, to the south side of things. And uh, WTI will also be reporting today. If you want to catch that full list of notables, guys, click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog, and you'll be able to catch that full list. How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up? But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, that's click that thumbs up button, uh, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. And um, thank you to everyone who shares this video out on your social media feed, helping the channel to continue to grow. Thank you very much. Um, let's take a look at a few charts in here and let's, um, uh, well, be a little bit careful on these charts because today could be could really bring in anything um, in the market. And so we're going to really have to be uh, very watchful of some uh, some potential quick intraday moves here. But there are some charts out there setting up. Take a look at um, AMD. Now AMD has been trying here to get something going and they got a recent upgrade in here and AMD isn't quite ready for prime time on the daily chart for the swing. As you can see, pushed up there and left that shooting star candle up there. Perhaps we need a little rest or pull back in here to hold a higher low and then we might be ready to go in that chart. I will, however, say if you look at the weekly, 
the weekly is starting to set up as well. That longer term, if that can hold in here, I would look for some upside opportunity if that does hold in AMD. You might want to be keeping an eye on um, stocks like Microsoft. Microsoft um, took back off to the top side here, but I got to tell you, this actually sets up um, almost more of us as a short as we push into this resistance here in the chart. You can see that shooting star up here, the possibility that this could make a lower high. And we, remember, we had a lower low that broke support here last night time. So this really could set up in the downtrend for the lower high, lower low situation here in Microsoft. So watch that closely. If it can pop back above that resistance area in the chart and prove to hold, well, then I'm long. But if we show failure here, I would be thinking possible short here on Microsoft. Watch that closely. Um, I'm going to say the same um, on stocks like Google that shot up here the last three days in the market. But I got to tell you, we're just shooting back up into some major resistance levels in the chart. And I would be watching this pretty closely for that possibility that we could find that resistance and pull back. Once again, we'll know whether or not this is going to turn bullish or bearish if we can actually pop out and hold a higher low. Okay, then I'm bullish. But boy, right in here, this is that decision point. And a lot of our tech stocks right now are at the cusp of that decision. Are we going to be bullish or bearish? We're going to want to watch that one pretty closely. Take a look at stocks like uh, DKNG. DKNG continuing to work and set up here. We are really liking these gambling sector stocks here. And DKNG starting to show us that bullish move back to the upside, holding into that trend. I would keep a pretty close eye on that. Take a look at Halliburton. Halliburton disappointed me because I was actually short. I took the, this bearish engulfing candle looking for the downside move here on that. It completely reversed stopping me out of that trade. But now you can see in this chart we've broken through that downtrend and if this were to rest and hold then there may be some more upside opportunity coming in some of these oil sector stocks. So keep a close eye on that. It really is going to come down to the interpretation on how China is going to recover. You'll want to keep in mind that there's a fairly significant resistance level in the chart right there. And that rest or pullback in here could be really significant. If we can hold in here, then there might be some upside opportunity. We also, right here at that cusp where we could make that decision and fail along that resistance and start moving back lower. So a lot of decision points here in the market being made. When we talk about decision points, let's take a look at Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs been moving in a downtrend here looking for uh, more cuts coming according to the news reports. Um, not doing so well here as a company and as you can see rallying back to that resistance area that may be the potential short area in the chart so keep a close eye on that. In fact if we look at the entire um, sector XLF I think there's still some questions here. We rallied back into this resistance area of the chart left behind a shooting star pattern yesterday. We can see that possibility that we could find those bears in here pushing down and that would create that downtrend. So again, lots of decision points to be made here in the market. Take a look at um, um, Generac. Generac has been moving up in a nice upside move. We've rested here for quite a while and now we're finally starting to, to perk back up here on Generac. Maybe a little uh, consolidation rest is still due in here to create a little higher low, but I keep an eye on Generac. So far it's holding in there pretty nicely. I would also say the same about CRWD. Um, had earnings um, yesterday um, excuse me, has earnings today. So we'll want to be a little bit careful of this um, on the earnings front. But watch that closely. It's been moving up in this nice pattern. We might need a little rest or pullback to engage this trend. Earnings are likely to mess this chart up substantially, but keep a close eye on that. This is coming out of this downtrend. There's a lot of reasons to be keeping an eye on CRWD here right now. So watch that one closely. So with that, guys, hey, I'm going to wind this up for today. Um, 
once again, I want to caution everyone that anything is possible today and be very, very careful. And also, for those of you who might be interested in the 3-8 trap class, I think there's still a couple of spots available. Um, I will uh, leave a link right below the title of the video if you're interested in that class. We had a great one on Saturday. We're going to do this one on Wednesday. Uh, it will be at um, um, 30 minutes after the close on Wednesday. And just keep in mind, the class goes about three hours. I throw open my entire trade book. I give you everything that I've got when it comes to uh, w with to this uh, as it comes to this strategy. And I got to tell you, it's just been helping lots of people improve their trading. So if you're interested, I'll leave that link below the title of the video. You guys have an awesome day. I wish you all the best. Watch for some incredible volatility as Powell speaks as we try to make some decisions here in the market. Be safe, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. I wish you all the best.